this state, uh, I own a solar company. And um, I, some of my best customers are people that I would consider uh, climate change deniers. Um, but solar uh, is a good technology and they don't have to drive back into town but to buy more propane. So I was able to have a reasonable conversation, avoid any of the touchstone points, and people were fine with it. And many people even would have a debate on things that you would consider now to be politically uh, a firestorm. After 2016, that stopped happening. Customers stopped calling. Um, the state itself started doing very biased things against smaller solar companies. Um, we're seeing permitting processes that used to have a four-day turnaround time now be six months. There are solar installs that are completed, inspected, safe, capable of working, and sitting unstarted because they haven't been finally permitted. They're literally appearing on Google Earth, work, you know, finished, but not on. Um, and that didn't happen prior to 2016. And what do you think motivates the state government to do that? Oh, I'm sure that various people in charge see, one, their political base will unelect them if they do things that aren't tribal. Um, two, we're getting a lot of people. You know, when you see that Boise is one of the largest growing cities in the United States right now, Idaho, as a population, is growing faster than many states around us. We are not getting the liberals moving to Idaho. Other states are changing demographically, becoming more or less liberal, but in many cases the refugees from those states are coming here, and so we are becoming more polarized. Um, and that, I think, is what's driving it. That, that, that's my best guess. But you're not going to see that written on any piece of paper anywhere, you know. <laughs>